All right, you guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I clean all of my shoes. Sorry for the noise, they're doing construction work outside, and also my boyfriend's on the phone. But anyways, these are all the shoes that I own from two pairs of sneakers, sandals, snow boots, and a dress-up pair, if you wanna call those dress-up shoes. So all the cleaning methods for these shoes are all different, and I'm gonna go one by one I'm trying to make this video as neat as possible. So if you are interested in how I clean my shoes, then keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with the winter boots because this is what I've been wearing the most these past couple of months. I've had these for a good three years, so I think they're in pretty good condition, you know, for me having them this long. But I wanna show you what's dirty first before I get into cleaning them. So I do have some little salt scuff marks there. I won't be able to take the creases off or anything like that, like, that's for professionals. I'm just trying to clean them and maintain them basically, not trying to make them look perfect because I mean, I'm gonna wear them again. There's also some salt stain marks there. And then the bottom is filled with salt and little pebbles and sand because they do put salt and sand in the parking lot so we don't fall and break our necks. And this one is the same exact thing. Like I said, it's usually just the salt that shows on these boots. And then of course you have some salt and sand residue on the bottom of the shoe. All right, you guys, so the first thing I do when it comes to maintaining my winter boots is I use my fabric shaver. I will have this link down below. I've had this product for years and it is such a lifesaver when it comes to your shoes or your leggings or your sweaters pilling. Now, these boots pill a lot, especially when I'm wearing thick socks, so I like to really get in there and I try my best to get inside the boots because that faux fur is all the way inside and you can just imagine <laughs> like i'm showing you right now how much this accumulates and this was just a month of me like using them and not using the device after i'm done doing the fabric shaver i go into the tub and i rinse off my shoes with some really really warm water so i'm trying my best not to get my hands wet because it was scorching hot but the warm water is going to loosen up all of the salt and the sand that was on the bottom of these soles and along with the front part of my boots my boots are waterproof except for the faux fur so it is safe for me to wash them like this and as you guys can see now the soles they're not perfect but they are clean and there's no more sand or pebbles and then this part is the easy part where you just wipe off the excess water and I try my best to let them dry on each side. So I let them dry in the front for a good 20 minutes and then I will flip them over to let everything else dry. So once when they are completely dried, I can put them back in my closet because I don't want wet boots in my closet because if you do put wet shoes, it ends up stinking like a wet dog, so you want to make sure everything is dried before putting them back in their place. Moving on to sneakers, I feel like they're the easiest thing to clean because there's not much to it. So, I only own two pairs. These ones are pretty dirty. I mean, they're kind of like my slippers for now because my other slippers fell apart. But what I do is I make sure the shoelaces are tied really really tight so they don't get loose i know a lot of people go take their shoelaces off and stuff and i don't want to go that extra mile because i feel like it's unnecessary sometimes so as you guys can see it's just your regular dirt from being outside being in the house you know walking in hallways they weren't that bad at all so i'm kind of just maintaining them making sure that they are clean and just well taken care of so of course I'm going in with the fabric shaver again and just mainly getting the shoelaces because those were like the worst parts so when it comes to my sneakers only I put them in the wash with a tie pod please check what your sneakers are made out of because not all sneakers should be washed but I always put them on delicate so it's a, like a warm wash so it can kill any germs or you know any stains that were on the sneakers now not all sneakers are going to come out perfect you have to remember that 
you know, they do get wear and tear and there's some damages that you cannot fix or stains that you cannot just magically disappear. But this will help your sneakers, um, you know, prolong the life of them and make them a lot brighter and newer looking. Now when it comes to my dress up shoes and sandals, I have the same technique which is to wipe down the heel part. I try not to wipe down the other part that goes on the floor, I just wipe down certain parts of the shoe that shows and that I can try to maintain myself. Now since this shoe is made out of like suede material kind of, um, I try to wet the rag very lightly with some warm water and go around the suede material with that rag because I don't want to ruin it and if you ever get like suede really wet or soaked it stains it I don't know what it like what makes it do that but again I'm just being very cautious because these are the only dress up shoes I own and I should get another pair but I mean who's going anywhere nowadays or who's going to places nowadays so you know, I used to wear these all the time, now I just wear them once in a great while. Now when it comes to my sandals, the only sandals I own are these faux leather old navy sandals. I've had these for a little over three years and I keep them intact by using a water and vinegar mixture and with a clean rag. I'll link down below the rags that I use for, like this is the same rag I use to clean my car, but obviously you wash them. But you know it just works so well on sandals and as you can tell they were pretty dirty um, this was a clean rag so I haven't cleaned these sandals since the summertime so I'm glad I got to it before spring and summer arrives anyways you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was pretty random but I got asked a ton of questions of how I clean all of my shoes I don't own too many I mean I feel like you don't need to own a lot of shoes as long as you maintain what you have. Again, I will have the rags that I use, the glass bottle that I showed, certain things linked down below, along with me trying to find these shoes that I own. I'll try to link them down below. They are pretty old, so fingers crossed that I find the exact pairs because I know a lot of you guys will be asking for them. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video.